Hi, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. So today, I've got a little problem with battery and charging. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check the voltage uh, when we're not in use. Pretty, pretty easy to do. We got 12 volts there. And so basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the car and then read the voltage again. Uh, and before I do that, I'm going to check the fuses. So basically, here's my fuses right there. And so if you have a fuse puller, it's a lot easier. Um, you can use a small screwdriver for that as well. Uh, I actually had one fuse burnt on this. So I'm going to fire it up and see what happens. So here we have the car running. I'm going to check the voltage again with it running. Got 1195, so that voltage actually went down. So that's not a good sign. It's likely I'll need a new alternator. And to do a little further check, what we can do is we can turn the lights on and then check the voltage again. 1168. So that's it's not a good sign. So I'm going to have to probably replace the alternator right here. So, yeah. Okay, so what I did is I revved the motor. So what I probably have is I probably have some bad contacts inside the alternator. because I revved the motor and then we're back up to sort of normal output. We got 14 volts, which is good. So what has probably happened is some of the contacts in the alternator won't kick in until the car's revved a little bit. And so ideally what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to put a, uh, a voltmeter inside my car to watch the voltage to see exactly what it's, what it's doing. And so if you need any help, you can contact me at uh, appliancesworks at yahoo.com or you can give me a call 707-445-1591.